sometimes in families, um, we actually forget to thank one another the most. And so tonight we're going to talk a little bit about gratitude. You're going to make gratitude jars or thank you jars. And then we're going to send you home. And you can practice tonight. There's strips of color paper for everybody. So you're going to take it home. Every person's going to have their own packet. And the idea is you're going to write thank yous and put them in the jar. We came here because my dad had a brain tumor and he was very sick. So um, we just came here to relax and kill him and tell our feelings and how we felt through it. Um, we, I like it here because I can actually speak my mind where I'm afraid to do it other places. Well, we initially came because for the kids, they mm -hmm. were really struggling with coping. Um, how to really just understand what cancer meant mm -hmm. and what it was going to mean for our family. And so to sort of alleviate some of that anxiety, we brought them here so that they could be with other kids and other families mm -hmm. who um, were going through the same things as us. It's definitely helped the kids learn to cope. Has it helped you? And it has absolutely helped us. In yes. what way? Um, it gives us a platform to talk to the kids a little bit more openly about what our fears and thoughts are on mm -hmm. cancer. Because uh, we don't necessarily talk about that at home. Right. So, um, we, I mean, we don't avoid it, but this gives us a little different environment to discuss it and hear what other people have to say. And it's definitely helped us communicate better, I think, with our kids. For me, it's more about um, being able to control what I can control mm -hmm. um, and not get all bent out of shape. You know, I used to be able, I used to get bent out of shape about everything. The drop of a hat. Drop of a hat. And now it's not so much, I don't get that bent out of shape anymore. Yeah. And that's through one, that's through coming here. And two, it's through, you know, a, a, almost like a personal review mm -hmm. where you sit down and take stock and say, you know, what's more important? So if somebody's going through, a family out there is going through the same situation, but they don't know about this place or, or what it does, what advice would you have for them? Um, I, I always praise the gathering place. Uh, they've helped us so much, and I just letting them under um, letting them know what resources are here to help. Just letting them know that there's a place you can go that is safe, and you can talk about how you're feeling, and other people understand mm -hmm. what you're going through. All of those things, it's just made it easier for us to learn this new normal.